um, the scenes we have seen over this last evening and in previous evenings in various parts of Northern Ireland are, are totally unacceptable. There can be no place in our society for violence or the threat of violence, and it must stop. Just as it was wrong in the past and was never justified, so it is wrong now and cannot be justified. The injury to frontline officers, victims terrorised, damage to people's property, the harm to Northern Ireland's image in this our centenary year has taken us backwards. And no brick, no bottle, no petrol bomb thrown has achieved or can ever achieve anything but destruction, harm and fear. We are indebted to the police officers who stand between order and those who prefer anarchy. We are also indebted to all those political representatives, community leaders, parents, pastors and others who have sought to calm tension and urge restraint. Rioting, criminality and wanton destruction destroys lives, livelihoods and brings fear and misery to local communities. It is not in the name of the people who live in the areas impacted and I have spoken to some of those people and it's certainly not in their name. Today is not the time to rehearse the arguments of this last number of weeks. Safe to say that we should all know well that when politics fail or are perceived to be failing in Northern Ireland, then those who fill the vacuum offer destruction and despair. We cannot allow a new generation of our young people to fall victim to that path or be preyed upon by some who prefer the shadows to the light. What we saw uh, last night at Lanark Way Interface, I think, was a very dangerous escalation of events of recent days, and it's utterly deplorable. This morning I met with the Chief Constable, Simon Byrne, who also then briefed the special meeting of the Executive, where he gave an operational update on the police response. And as we speak uh, here today, 55 police officers have been injured, and I want to start my remarks by sending solidarity to those officers to their families at this um, very difficult time. It's not right, it's dangerous, it's unacceptable and it is a miracle that as we stand here today that no one has been killed. I want to commend all those that are on the ground working really hard within their communities trying to provide diversionary activities for children and young people because we know that that can help to prevent further antisocial behaviour for those, for those whom face the highest risk of influence. And we all know where that influence is coming from. It's coming from illegal, loyalist paramilitaries and criminal elements that are orchestrating this violence, while they stand back and send youngsters out to do their bidding. These people are no role models for our youth. They're outdated, they're antiquated, and they're caught in a time warp, which is no bearing on where the vast majority of people across the society now are, or indeed where they want to be. They're holding back their own people and they're holding back their own community.